Well, recently, um, I bought some bar stools from IKEA. And as you know, anything from IKEA is uh, some assembly required. Just a little. Now, as good as IKEA's directions are, and they are really good, there is always the issue of orienting the drawings to the workpiece. Uh, you know, understanding which step in the drawing goes with which picture. Do I have the picture upside down in relationship mm -hmm. to the thing I'm trying to work on? So uh, now imagine yourself on the factory floor with a large, complex assembly. Pictorial instructions are great. And, and most large assemblies do have pictorial instructions, but the same basic issues are still there. How do you orient your instructions? Are you using the right instruction for the step that you're on? Does the picture line up with what you see in front of you? Well, if you're doing something, if you want really the ultimate in assembly, really what you'd want is your instructions to appear on your assembly sure. in real time. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly the technology we're going to talk about right now. We have Roger Richardson, CEO of Delta Sigma, on Skype with us today. Hello, Roger. Hello, Mike. Hello, Dirk. Hey, how you doing? So you have developed a technology that, uh, what, uh, projects assembly instructions onto the workpiece? Do I have that right? Uh, that's correct. We take in the 3D geometry from uh, whatever is the CAD package that you would use, and then that can be broken down and then projected step by step actually onto the parts as you assemble. So, so what I see behind you, it looks like I'm seeing some actual text. I can't quite read it, but I'm assuming that's actual the, uh, the actual instructions. And there's some, there's some uh, dots. What, what do I see in there? Well, in this particular case, it would be uh, uh, fastener installations. So. It, so it'd be showing you a part number and a quantity, uh, and then the location of that particular part number. So not only do so, I have the instructions, you're actually showing me where uh, those little dots are actually showing the, the operator where the fasteners actually go? That's correct. So, so and things that would have an orientation, uh, we would show what the orientation of that part is. So in, in the case of a fastener, there's not, not an orientation, just a placement, that this right. is the place that it goes. But uh, if there were an orientation, then it, it would show that as well. Okay, now if you were to move this part, uh, it, you know, you, you have it set up right there, you've got this projection system that's projecting this onto there. If you were to bump the part or move it, would the, would the projection track with it? Um, well, right now, to, to get the projector into the coordinate system of this part, it's about a one-minute process to calibrate the projector into the coordinate system of the part. Uh, at presently, that, it, that would not happen. What you just said, you would have to recalibrate. It would take about a minute, and you would be back up and running again. Uh, we, are, we do have working in the lab, though, a version that actually does do that, and that will be uh, available for release later this year. Uh, but today, we're not quite there. That, that software is not quite ready to hit the street yet, but should be within the next four or five months, I would say. Okay. Now, you know, I've seen, uh, I, I've seen or, or, or heard of similar technologies that use uh, laser projection to, uh, to I, I'm, I'm guessing, do something similar. How does your optical system differ from, let's say, a laser-based system? Well, lasers are, uh, they do a terrific job of uh, making lines, but uh, the, with a laser, there's just one little small dot, and then you've got mirrors that are moving that dot rapidly around. So the retention of your retina will make it appear to be a line. You don't, you don't see it as a moving dot, you see it as a line, unless you try to move that too far so that the time that it takes to wrap back around to the beginning is longer than your, than your retina retains that. So, and so when you're looking at, at a laser projection that's trying to display very much at a time, you see it start to blink and if you get too much out there the blinking is so much that the the line or the text is not there for such a large percentage of the time that it's really difficult to read and of course a laser is only going to be one color so uh with optical projection so it, it works the same way as you know everybody has seen powerpoint projected there's no blinking you can have as much text as you want you can have as many colors as you want uh the, the thing that's different here is that uh, we've now created a way to project that three-dimensionally. So all of the features that you ever have had in a projector are the same. It's just that now we're not limited to a 2D screen. We actually can wrap around the shape of whatever, you're, whatever it is you're making. 
Well, Roger, we're going to have to, to, to go pretty quickly here. But before we do, uh, I want to mention to everyone out there that we have a webinar on this topic uh, next Tuesday, the 26th. That's going to be at 11, yes. 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Can you give us just a real quick preview of what we're going to see, how we're going to dive into this a little bit deeper uh, on Tuesday? Uh, sure. Well, we're, we'll start off with a PowerPoint for a few minutes, just kind of go over uh, the features and benefits of the system, and then we will have a live demonstration where we'll be showing lots of different uh, capabilities and ways that, uh, that the projection work system would be used to enhance a quality management system by providing instructions and inspection uh, methods that are different. I mean, you have a different capability when you can put the instructions uh, so close to the person's eyes and hands where they're already working uh, that the, the new kinds of doors that that opens in ways that you can use such a technology. Well, Roger, thanks for joining us today. We are going to have to uh, take off, but obviously uh, we will join you. Um, you and I will I'll be hosting and yep. you'll be presenting uh, this webinar next week on Tuesday. So uh, thanks for joining us on the show today. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, so long, Roger. Thank you, Roger. Yes, again, you, that is this Tuesday coming up, the 26th of February uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific. You can see it right there, 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, there's a link right below your player page, and you can sign up right now if you'd like or later today uh, for the webinar. It's going to be a good one. Good.